Okay, Wayne here. I wanted to do a quick video of the log splitter and uh, explain a little bit how we made this thing and why we did a couple of the things. Um, to start with, the base of it is the I-beam and it's an eight inch I-beam, eight inches wide, eight inches tall. This right here is a half an inch thick steel. So it's a pretty robust I-beam and it looks like it's about six or seven foot long. Uh, the next part, which is critical to this thing, is the um, cylinder which splits all of the wood. It's a standard three inch, um, um, 3000 PSI cylinder. It has a, a bore of five inches and a stroke of 24 inches. And you can see where it came from. Um, something to keep in mind, uh, obviously the larger the bore, the slower it will go, but the more power it will have to uh, crush your logs. So keep that in mind. Powering this is a 22 gallon per minute two-stage pump. Maximum pressure 25 or 2700 PSI. And uh, in stage one, which is low pressure, it's a thousand pounds or something. And that's a much quicker um, flow until it gets to the high pressure and then it slows down some. Uh, powering this up is a uh, Honda, which still starts on the first pull after several years. It's a uh, GX390. I forget how many horsepower it is but it works like a champ, okay? Um, the cylinders, of course, have to be welded and you need to weld something to hold it to the back of it. Um, we, of course, put a trail hitch on it because it's too heavy to, to move around. Um, this is something to keep in mind. You need a fairly robust and large hydraulic oil tank. Um, I think the word uh, of mouth rule of thumb is about one gallon per every gallon a minute for the pump. So this is a 25 gallon pump, 22 gallon per minute pump, and I got a 25 gallon tank. And that's one of the big differences between a real log splitter and the box store log splitters. The box store log splitters, you know, they've got 40 tons and they'll do 800, you know, thousand gallons per minute and stuff. And they have a one quart hydraulic tank. Well, that's a little bit disingenuine. Hydraulic oil gets hot when it's running and this does get warm. Okay. What makes this a very, very effective log splitter are two things. Um, one, this four-way wedge. And the four-way wedge is controlled by, of course, the valves, and we can make it go up and down depending upon the size of the log. And what this means, though, is I can get four pieces of wood instead of one for every split. And that's, that's important. It doubles the amount of work. The other thing we have, which is important, is the log arch. the log lift and the log lift what that does is you roll a log onto it this piece of metal I built here and then there's a hydraulic cylinder down here in red as you can see and that pivots up and down okay from one of these levers and since I'm over 40 actually over 60 now um, I can't lift these logs easily okay to a log splitter so this will lift it up with ease and then um, you can split the wood Something else to keep in mind is an outfeed table because as I just told you, I'm over 60 and bending down to pick wood up all day long hurts my back and is uncomfortable. So if you can get the wood here on this little table, okay, then you don't need to bend down so much to pick it up. It works pretty well. Um, this is pretty much as built. I did modify it. I put this little piece of steel here and one on the other side, similar to it to catch the wood because uh, the wood was splitting and then bending these little tubes down. So I had to rework that a little bit. Uh, big surprise to me is the cost of the hydraulic hoses. Okay, uh, now this splitter is not your standard splitter. Why is there four valves? Well, there's one valve to move this log lift up and down. There's one valve to move the four-way wedge up and down. And there's two valves for the cylinder to split the wood. And what this is, it has an automatic return on it. So to split the piece of wood, you push both of these forward, and then when it meets the maximum pressure, it automatically comes back. And it returns all the way, it will turn off all the way. And I'll show you kind of how that works. Um, you can build all this stuff, you know where all these parts are all available online. Hoses, you need to go to a hydraulic place who makes hoses. Um, big surprise to me is this stuff's expensive and a real hydraulic system has big hoses. So, and this was some years ago, 
the hydraulic hoses alone on this were almost a thousand dollars so keep that in mind when you see how much firewood you do and what the cost of firewood is i mean if you're paying two hundred dollars a cord or 250 a cord that's quite a few cords we end up splitting quite a lot of wood for myself and friends with us every year and it was a fun project so that's what we do so let me just fire this up and i'll show you the operation of the four-way wedge and the log lift and see how that works out so it's a honda 